Welcome back guys, I'm Skystorm and this is Transport Fever, the EPEC Challenge. What are we going to do in this episode? Well, first of all, the Mallard, I've loaded up some British Rail Mark 1 coaches, which are like the closest thing that we've got to the actual coaches that the Mallard pulled. Like, ideally, we want the, um, uh, oh, what are they called? I, uh, I can't remember. Is it Grizzly Teak? Coaches, I can't remember, but the Mark One coaches will be uh, pretty sound soon. Should we do it now? Come on, let's do it now. <laughs> let's do it now. What the hell? Come on, let's do it. Um, but we're also going to be putting in a freaking amazing stone quarry. We're gonna we're gonna bring we're gonna bring this valley to life. The Chudley Valley is beautiful, but it's a little bit lifeless at the moment. We're gonna bring it to life, and we're gonna put in a village, the village of Little Chudley. We'll get to that in a second. First of all, um, we need the proper coaches. Now the proper coaches should be um, uh, like. Uh, beige and red, um, what they actually call call uh, blood and like the yellow. It's kind of a yellow and red. They call it blood and custard in the in the railway community. They call it blood and custard. So we're going to change this. So we want mallard. So we want locomotives. Uh, just the steam ones, please. Mallard. Okay. Add a mallard, and then can can we find here they are? Look, you can see them instantly. Blood and custard. There you go, the British Rail Mark One. Wow, oh, <laughs> just awesome! How many how many coaches have we got on here actually? Let's see, what did I put on? I think I put on about six. Didn't I? One, two, three, four, five, six. We could probably we could probably pull more than that. Uh, let's see. I put these um, these. Uh, yeah, I put these on. So that's that's twenty one. These are twenty one as well. Yeah, we'll put six on. I think. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, you know what? That's exactly 160, which is the length of the platforms. So that would be perfect. Yes, let's do that. So uh, we'll have automatic replacement on and I'll say replace now. Yes, please. Only costing me nine and a half million. Really? <laughs> I think is it that expensive? So should we see? Should we see? I want to see. I don't care. Well, I do care if you want to see, but like I want to see more than I care about whether you want to see. This is going to look so freaking awesome. Come on, Mallard. Well, you're going to be at that end, aren't you, the, the Mallard? Oh, look at those coaches. They don't look so good from this side. But from this side, with the sun shining on them, oh, then they look just tremendous. Let's go have a little look. Go have a little look at it pulling out. And it's, it's making, like, the absolute most of the mallard that's kind of triggered me to get on and do this stuff because... Oh, look at that. Seriously. It, I'm sorry, but in the world of trains, it just doesn't get any better than that. The mallard, blood and custard coaches. That is, that is the age of steam for me. That is the age of steam. We'll probably use those with the uh, Flying Scotsman as well. Because I think, I think the Flying Scotsman actually used those coaches. Not sure. Not sure. Okay, so that's enough That's enough oohing and ahhing over that. Let's get on to this. So this, this was what started me off, right? I, I looked at this and I thought, oh, you know what? I've been meaning to do a stone quarry. How about we, we do a little stone quarry thing here? And then I was like, okay, well, um, I want to do, I want to do Little Chudley. So I want Little Chudley in here. But this is in the freaking way. So then I thought, you know what, I'll move that. I'll move that over here. I'll just put it over here. And then I was like, hang on a second. Like, you look at this kind of valley here. This would make an awesome quarry, right? And then I was like, hang on a second. If I put a quarry in, I could put the quarry in and I could have the machine factory over there as kind of part of it and make it like a big feature. And then it, because at the moment it's like a factory out in the middle of nowhere, which kind of doesn't make any sense. Whereas if it was part of a quarry, it would kind of make a little bit more sense. And then I was like, ooh, hang on a second. If I did put the quarry in here, right, it's going to be hooked up to the train station. So we can actually ship stone from the quarry over to this construction materials plant over here. Ooh, wouldn't that be cool? That's what I thought anyway. That was the thought process, <laughs> and it was kind of like that. It was with all the ooze and all the cooing and all that kind of stuff. So what I need to do is I need to make some room in here to actually get these things in. So let's crank this up, and I've got the industry unlocker mod so that we can actually get rid of this, which will be sweet. 
So let's get lower terrain, high. This is cranked up to max size. Let's do this. So. I'm thinking we're going to be going out to about that kind of range to put it in. Um, that's at about maximum range and I want this connected to here. So I'm thinking if you take that and extend it out to probably about there. So actually I'll probably want to go a little bit further. And then just take all of this down on both sides. Now the, the machine plant, I'm going to have kind of here. So I want to take this back a bit further, I think, on this side. And the, the nice thing about this is it means I can have a little bit of level terrain here, which, um, which would, I don't know, but the, the station looks a bit weird at the moment. And I think this will make it look so much better. So let's push that way back. And I think this side take a little bit more out. And over there. And a little bit more in the middle. All right, cool. So a bit of smoothing, just to take off the rough edges. And we'll see if we can't get this darn thing in. Um, I am thinking I'm probably gonna go a little bit more that way. Yeah, I am gonna go a little bit more that way, so. Let's push that back a little bit more on that side. I'm pretty sure this won't go in first time, but like if we can get it close, then I'll be happy. So we want a road, um, medium country road, I think. Medium country road, if I can find it, here we go. Medium country road coming out that side. So first thing, let's add the second street connection. Now I'm probably gonna end up swapping this station around so that the station building's on that side. In fact, um, can you do, can you just do that? Uh, do, 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 curve the station, straight time, straight size. So, uh, no, no you can't, no you can't, you can't swap it around. That's a freaking shame. That would have made life easier. But it's fine, it's fine, I'll manage, I'll manage. So, let's have a bit of straight road coming out. Now let's see, I want this to be about the same length as that. So yeah, we can come out a little bit further. Probably about to there. And then I want this to be flat. So let's bring it up a little bit. So yeah, like that, that's fine. Cha-ching. Then we go to industry and I want a stone quarry. Where are you, stone quarry? That's an oil well. There we go, stone quarry. Right, flip you around and kind of sort of line you up a little bit. It doesn't have to be like mega precise. Unable to align terrain. Let's have, let's have a little look and see. Yeah, it's just around the back and the edges. All right. Shouldn't take much, I wouldn't have thought, to get this in. Let's take that back and a little bit of, that's on high, isn't it? Yeah. Little bit of smoothing. And come on, come on, go in, go in. Uh, yes, hooray. Right, so we'll pop you in just about there. Sweet. Seriously, guys, this is going to look awesome when I'm done with this. I am wondering if I shouldn't have dropped it down a little bit. You know, uh, i got to say I'm kind of tempted by that idea. I am kind of tempted by that idea. You know what, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to drop it down a little bit. Um, the reason I'm going to do that, I'm not going to tell you at the moment, because I want it to be a bit of a surprise. So, uh, what was I doing? I was going to put this in, but drop it down a little bit. So, that much? Or, oh, like, do I? No, not that much. Maybe that much. Yeah. It's, okay, I'll tell you. It's because I want a tiered effect. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a shrubbery. So, um, you know what? I want that a little bit, I want that a little bit further down. So let's, let's take it maybe down that much. Yeah, 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 that looks about right. So what I'm, by the way, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kind of, I wanna do this bit and I wanna do 
um, like show you like a little bit of the village and then we'll hit the time lapse and get the old time lapse going. Well, I think I probably down to there's fine. Yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, will this go in now? That's the only question. <laughs> Have I dropped it down too far for it to go in? Uh, yep, yep. Sod's law. Uh, what am I doing? Yeah, dropping the terrain down. So drop that down and that. And that. And that. Right, is that enough? Yeah, that should work. Should work. Oh, oh, which bit's complaining? Don't know. Let's, let's just level it out. It might be that bit that was complaining. I don't know. It's probably one of the edges that's complaining, but... Uh, that's it. Like, is it is it that bit there that's complaining? I don't know. I don't know. Let's do a little bit more smoothing off. Yeah, that should be all right. Come on, go in, damn you. No, still, it maybe it's that bit over there. I don't know, but it it will not go in. Uh, bane of my life. Let's get the lower. Let's just push that little back. Let's just push that back a little bit on each side. Like that. And then... Smooth this out a bit more. Maybe it was that, you know, maybe it was that little bit there. Might have been. Might have been that. Got a sneaking suspicion. It, yeah, I think it was. Right, so you're going to go in there, like that. Cool. Sweet. Awesome. And then we're going to put in, over here, the machine factory. So, you now this is going to be a replacement for this. And this is already, like, level four. So we're going to put in a level four machine factory. Where are you? There, machine factory. And we want level four. Flip you around. Now I'm thinking we want this kind of sort of, kind of sort of there. I, I want it kind of square with the road, which is, is that, is that square with the road? Yeah, it looks pretty square with the road. Uh, I just want a bit of a gap. I want to be able to do a little bit of decoration in front of it. So I'm thinking there would do freaking awesome. Oh, I'm loving the quarry. I'm loving the quarry. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do now is, uh, is show you how to get rid of this. I have shown this before, but I think it's worth showing you again. So I need to go to brush assets, go down to miscellaneous, go to the end, and here is the industry unlocker. So I'm going to click on that. Oh, yes. <laughs> I thought it was gonna. I thought it was gonna crash for a minute. Right. So unlock. So we change it to unlock, and what that does is allow you to demolish existing industry. So now I can go, boom, bye bye. Then we go back to it and have the the unnerving pause while we wonder whether the game's gonna crash. Please don't crash. Hey and. Lock it again. And keep fingers crossed. Yes! Oh my God, it all worked. Hooray. And then let's get away from there so it's not slow anymore. All right, so we got rid of it. Hooray. All I need to do now is um, save the game and um, unload the industry unlocker mod. And then we can get back to this. And then, yeah, I think, uh, I think we're going to like... Time lapse of the quarry. Yeah, I tell you what, we'll do it a little bit on the village, right? And then I'll I'll time lapse building the village and doing the quarry because uh, the quarry is going to take a bit of time to do because it's going to be, um, yeah. Oh, but you're going to love it. You're going to love it when it's done, guys. All right, let's um, let's get on with it. Okay, all done. Right now, let's talk. Let's talk about little Chudley. Now, I want a village. Now, this is this are this is inspired by a place called. Um, Broadway, which is in the Cotswolds in uh, in Middle England. Uh, we'll I'll talk more about that when we get into the time lapse because because um, it's kind of interesting to talk about. But what we're going to do is create a flat area in here. Um, I'm probably going to bring the terrain up like a little bit on this side and a little bit down on this side to create like a, a flat area for the village. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm wondering how much I actually want to do or whether we jump straight to the time lapse. This road, now this road, instead of going this way, I was looking at this and I was like, this road, instead of this road going 
there over by the railroad. It needs to come out more in the middle and go down there. So you know what? We'll do we'll do that little bit. Burn, 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 burn. Waste of time putting all those blooming trees in, wasn't it? <laughs> like what else is new? And and this right, I like I'm sorry, but I just don't like this road here. I don't like that road at all. So we're gonna come up with a, a new way to hook this up. Like, um, yeah, I am gonna hook it up, but it's gonna be it's gonna be nicer. And we're gonna have oh, we're gonna we're gonna have some very cool stuff going on around here. Yeah, I think I think we'll take this road back and just start again from like up there because we've got to we've got to extend we've got to extend Chudley a little bit on this side. Um, so so yeah, I'm thinking that the road's gonna come more in, more into the to the centre of the valley. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's start. Let's start the process of, of beautifying Chudley. Now, I, I'm guessing that this is probably going to be the next few episodes, right? Because I've got some big ideas for what we're going to do. Like, um, if I go over here, I, I think it's worth digressing. Like, I want to put in some, like, proper farms, more like this kind of thing that I did over here. And actually have some some like proper farm areas in here. It's probably going to be mostly um, livestock. It's going to be sheep and cows and maybe some horses and stuff like that. Yeah, I think that'll look very cool here. Rather than rather than fields, it's going to be more pastures with animals and, and stuff like that. Let's, let's make this a little bit more interesting. A bit around there and then... Then coming down into here, yeah, 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 and then yeah, I think we probably want to go down a little bit more, and then we'll have the flat area for the village. All right, guys, I I think it's time lapse time, don't you? Enough talking about it. I think we want to see it done. So let's hit the time lapse, and off we go. And the first thing to do is flatten out the area that we're going to be working in. And I realized as soon as I put this in that it, it wasn't low enough. It wasn't going to look right from the train. So I had to, I had to lower this down a bit. Now, um, as I was kind of saying before, this is, um, this is inspired by a village. It's a, it's a very, very big village in the Cotswolds in, um, in, the, in the middle of England. It's just north of Oxford. Um, called Broadway. And it's, uh, it's a wonderful place. I used to go there like a lot, um, like, uh, like, like when I was a kid and, and growing up, I used to, I used to travel, um, like through it, like all the time. And there's a wonderful pub there called the Ligon Arms. And it's, it's really, oh, it, it just, the place just is the quintessential English village. It's just got that feel of an English village. It's so picturesque and beautiful and whatever. Um, I, I love the place. And I wanted to kind of capture the feel of it, right? I mean, obviously, little little Chudley, Chudley village is um, is much smaller, but um, but I just wanted to kind of capture that feel. And I'll, I'll, I'll point out one or two of the little, little details that I put in which kind of pick pick up, up on that. But oh man, wait for the wait for the stone quarry because I think <laughs> I shouldn't say this myself, but I think I've excelled myself with the stone quarry. The stone quarry is freaking awesome. And a big thank you to the person who inspired that. And I would tell you who it was, except I can't find his post. He actually sent me um the email. I can't find the email. I've looked and looked and I cannot find the email. He sent me pictures of um, of, uh, of stone quarries that he'd done. I, okay, they're not like as quite as big as and an elaborate as, as the one I put together, but um, totally the inspiration, totally the inspiration. I have to give him full credit. He's the one that inspired me to do the, the, the whole stone quarry thing. Brilliant, brilliant ideas he has. Uh, anyway, so yeah, so, I just did a bit of work up at Chudley, just kind of, I, I just wanted to kind of tidy that area up. And now we're working on Chudley Village. Now I've loaded up um, a mod that I've, I've had this mod for, I don't know, for, for, for ages. I mean, like I'm, I'm thinking I've had this 
like, like it feels like I've had it for years. But I guess Transport Fever's only been out like two years or something, hasn't it? I don't know. Anyway, I've had this mod forever and I've never actually used it in anger in a game. I've played around with it and I was like, yeah, but this is where it kind of comes into its own. Uh, if you want to build your own little towns and villages and whatever, this is what you need. It's called um, Plot, it's, what, is it? what the hell is it called? I, you know, what? it's been so long since I even looked at it that I don't know, I can't, it's, it's called um, Plop, Plop Town Buildings. Is it called Plop Towns? I think it's called Plop Town Buildings. And um, it allows you to plop all, ev like every single industrial, commercial, and residential building in the game. And that is a lot of buildings. I mean, literally, uh, it's broken down into different eras. I think there are three eras, um, which is like, um, what is it, like up to, up to 1900 and then 1900 to 1950 and then modern era, so like something like that. But uh, I'm, using the, I'm using the oldest buildings, which are from the, from the first era. And, uh, and they work perfectly for like a little village like this. Now, as you go, as you go into the, into the village there, right? I, what I've done is I've created a little village green and village greens tend to be, not, not exclusively, but they're frequently little triangles. And it tends to be because these villages have sprung up where there's a, where there's a junction, you know, like there's a fork in the road or there's a crossroads or something like that. And they tend to like section off one little area, often often tends to be a triangle. Uh, and that becomes the village green. I do a little bit of decorating of the village green later. And then right at the end, I've got a little surprise. So now what I'm doing is, um, is just doing a little bit of decoration of the, of the train line, because it's kind of important. I mean, this is all about the looks at the end of the day. It's all about what the final journeys are gonna look like. And I want to make sure that when I put the trees and, and, and stuff in and the foliage all around the trains, that I can still see like all the all the little bits of scenery that I've put in. So now I'm just putting in a little a little block so that I can put um, put some more houses behind behind the ones that I've already put in. So I've put in the high street and I've put like shops shops along the high street. And then you've got the village green and then there's uh, just like residential houses around uh, around the village green. And now we're just putting in kind of a little, a little residential area behind the, uh, behind the commercial, behind the shops. I gotta say, I, I'm gonna do more of this because <laughs> I totally lost track of time. I say, I, I actually say this after the time lapse, but, um, I totally lost track of time doing this. This and the quarry, uh, this is like, the time lapse that you're watching is like three hours of time lapse. And uh, yeah, I just, I was so immersed in it. I, I have missed playing Transport Fever so much. Like seriously, I have missed it. I've wanted to go back and play it. And I've had these ideas that I've been, I've been thinking about of, of doing the village and whatever, but I knew that it was going to take me hours. I mean, I spent a few hours kind of researching and practicing before, before I started doing this and then probably what, like four hours. So, it's, so the video as a whole, uh, to record the, the video, it took like seven hours or so. And then obviously I've got to uh, edit it and render it and upload it and all that kind of stuff. So, um, so yeah, I, and I knew that that was going to be the case. I knew it was going to be a big time sink. And that's why it's taken me kind of so long to get back to it. Because like every day I'm like, should I do transport favor? And it's like, it's going to take me like seven, eight hours or whatever. I, I, I don't have time today because like all the new games and all of the transition in the channel and the, the setting up the new channel and all that kind of stuff. It's been, um, oh God, it's been a, I tell you what, with, the, with transitioning the, the channel and whatever, oh my God, it's been a hectic week. It's been a, just a crazy busy week. But but all that, I, I'm, I think all of that is done now. So I'm back to just focusing on the videos, nothing else. 
And I'm so pleased about that because this is what I enjoy doing. This is what I love. And especially Transport Fever. I've got to say, I think, I think this is my favorite freaking game of all time. I love this game. So yeah, I'm uh, now I'm doing the um, net doing the other side, and uh, and it should be fine, but I just want to double check again. So I'll I'll put the put the little bushes in, put a few trees in, and then uh, and then I'll just check to make sure that yeah I can see the village. So so when we're riding the mallard, we'll be able to see the village. So now I'm just gonna like put in some some bushes and trees around the village so that it doesn't look so bare. So I'm decorating the road that's going out on that side. And I hope you're going to agree. A lovely little country road going into the village. <laughs> it's, oh, I love it. I love it. The only problem is the roads, like like the lampposts and whatever are a bit modern. So now I'm doing the village green. Now I'm doing the village green. So a few bushes, a few nice neat little bushes around the village green because they keep it very tidy. And I'm just I'm just like picking out the, the, the littlest bushes to put in. Then a few benches because obviously you want to be able to sit on the bed. I, I, I need to have a look and see if I've got any wooden benches. The only benches I've got at the moment I think are these red benches which are not perfect. And then here's the surprise at the end. I'm going to put the church in, which I thought kind of fits nicely on that corner. So we've got the village green, the, ch the, the, the little village church. Oh, loving it, loving it. Now that big white cliff, that's not staying. That's not staying. That's going to be um, that's going to be blended in. I did think about leaving it there because it is quite it is it's not bad to look at, but I eventually decided I was going to blend it in like that and then uh, cover it with trees, because just because because that's what I decided to do. <laughs> there's no there's no great reasoning behind it. It was just like that's what I think it's going to look good as. And again, it's it's like getting the tree heights correct so that they don't so so that they're there and you feel like you're you're going through a forest, but they don't actually block the views. And now I'm just setting up a little pasture because we can have some animals. Oh hell yeah! And I t the only problem with doing this, it, it really does take a while putting in all the animals. Now I was just trying to figure out like what was the the best way because I'm going to put in some 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 cows in one field and and put some sheep in another field and I was trying to figure out like from the train like like where am I going to be able to see them and which animals should I put where and but yeah man it 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 takes a while I was just looking to see if I'd got anything else that I wanted to put in this field but I haven't so then I moved on to the to the sheep and I I tried a different technique for putting the sheep in. And I thought, I'll throw a load of sheep in at kind of random angles, and then I'll have a look. And it worked okay. So now I'm just throwing uh, throwing some fencing around the field, around the, the pasture. And then a little bit of smoothing out so that the fence looks good. There we go. A few more, few more bushes and trees. Make it into a, a nice field. And we've got ourselves some pastures. Right, now, this is, this is the bit that I'm going to be oohing and ahhing about because it was, it was, this was one of those things. When I started to do it, I was like, I, I know what I want to achieve. I just, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to, to make it as good as I want it to be. And... And I, I, I've been thinking about this a lot. I mean, because I've been thinking about this for weeks. How, like how I was going to do it and like how could I make it look the way that I want it to look. And and it surpassed. It surpassed what I wanted it to, to look like. It, this is better than I thought I would be able to make it look. It's t it, it turned out just awesome. I love it. 
I, I, I really hope that you guys love it as much as, as I do and it's not just me <laughs> kind of having some, um, yeah, some sky moment where I think it looks great and everybody else goes, what the hell? I was just trying to see like what the, uh, how the textures would look next to the, to the cliff textures and, uh, and actually it's going to look fine. But those are going to go in. Those are going to go in later. So what I'm doing now is I'm creating a, a tiering effect. So what I want is for this to be like a, a pretty big, serious quarry. So what I want are a, a, like a couple of tiers at the back and then kind of a big open quarry area where we can put some machinery in. And, um, and to be honest, it's surprisingly easy. I was kind of staggered how easy this turned out. Uh, I mean, it's just really a case of getting the roads like close enough. And uh, and that's it. And you just you keep adjusting the heights and whatever to give you the, the cliffs that you want. Bit of flattening. Now this is gonna be the, um, the open area. This is where we're gonna have like our, our diggers and trucks and all that kind of stuff. And then, uh, and then outside, it's just the, the, going to be the, the, the tiers of, uh, of rock and whatever. But, oh man, I was, I was just having that absolute ball at this stage. And it, and it, the thing, the thing just kept getting bigger and bigger because, because you can't, I'm sorry, but you can't help yourself. Once you, once you discover a technique like this, it's like, Oh my God, I've just got to do this. Oh, I've got to do it more. No, nah, no, nah, got to do some more. And this was the point where I'd kind of, I'd kind of done what I wanted to do in terms of getting the, the tiering and whatever. And then I put that little loop in and then I was like, hang on a second. I need to have like roads, like, like all the roads need to be interconnected. Cause I kind of was going to leave it like that. I was like, yeah, that's fine. And I was like, nah, I need like all the roads to be interconnected so that the vehicles can drive around and whatever. And, I, and, then, and then I can actually have vehicles driving around here, which is what, what we're gonna do. I'll talk a little bit more about that after the, um, after the time lapse. So, so then, this was probably the most difficult thing, uh, like playing around with getting all of these roads connected up because uh, some of these slopes are really steep and it's, it's just kinda difficult. But the, again, the more I played with it, the more I kind of accidentally found things and then thought, ooh, ooh, yeah, that's an idea. So for example, this bit here, this came out of nothing. I suddenly I suddenly thought, hang on a second, if I, if I put a loop around and then have a raised bit in between like the loop of the road, then I can have a kind of, you know, have the, the, the vehicles just like driving around these big cliffs and uh, and that worked and then so then obviously I had to extend it even further <laughs> because because I just couldn't help myself I just couldn't help myself at this point and this bit this bit here was probably the bit that was the biggest pain trying to get all of this because it, it, it's a little bit tight and it's a little bit steep and I just, I, I couldn't get this bit to freaking work properly. But I think it was just because I was being impatient rather than anything else. And it worked out at the end. I'm, now I'm just kind of having a look at the, the routes and seeing like how much of the quarry can you see from the different routes and stuff. And, uh, and it was kind of after that, so sometime, sometime probably around now that I started, I was kind of thinking, hmm, what about, what about actually having trains coming in here? No, it was after this because, yeah, it was, it was pretty much towards, like, right towards the end of the time lapse when I was thinking, yeah, I want to have, to, yeah, I know, I know when it was. It was when I start to put, like, the, the vehicles and machinery and stuff in. Uh, and and start to dress it up and I was thinking yeah I, I need to have trains coming in here like it's all right having trucks and all the rest of it I need to have trains actually coming into the quarry
because that would just be the freaking coolest thing in the world. So uh, again, I talk about that a little bit more after the time lapse. So I'll uh, I'll kind of I won't steal my own thunder. Oh, it's starting to come together now, isn't it? And then I thought, yeah, well, needs needs to be surrounded at the top by trees just to give it that kind of rugged look. Which which really does help. And then, you know, fill a couple of the areas with a few trees. And you just get that, like, trees and rocks and... I love that bit. I love that little bit there with the that's kind of sticking out into that loop of the road and just putting some trees on the top. Ah, oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. So now, just um, just kind of dressing up the railway coming in. I don't do too much of this. But it was just, again, to, to see, like, how much of it will I be able to see. The catenaries on that section of track are definitely going away. Like, for sure. There's, like, no question about that. Those are going. I was really in two minds about keeping that cliff, actually, but I thought, you know what, I think we've got enough cliffs. So I decided to just kind of smooth it down a bit. Then final bit of dressing up of the, uh, of the road leading up to the station, a few more trees. And then I think the next thing is to get onto, yeah, yeah. I might, yeah, yeah, here we go. We're going to put in a few decorations. Uh, but the problem I had is that the ground isn't um, like staggeringly even down the bottom. So I didn't put any decorations down the bottom. I'll do some more work on that um, later. And again, I'll talk more about that after the time lapse. Um, talking about what, what's going to happen in the, the, next, the next episode or two or three, maybe. Who knows? But yeah, I thought, yeah, let's get... Let's get some nice machinery around the place and some of these um, some of these quarry pieces. Oh, I had such a ball doing this. Okay, so there you go. I'll uh, that's the end of the time lapse. I'll hand you back. Okay, well, I'm going to have to stop there. Um, I completely lost track of time. I have been working on this for three hours. <laughs> Crazy. But, and this is the first time I've actually kind of stepped back and had a look at it. And, oh my God, love it. Now, I need to do like a lot more decoration and stuff. And this is way too even up here. And I, I, I could go on and on. But I just had, I just had an idea. You know what? What I want to do is run, uh, run a rail off here around the side of the station here. So I'm gonna to have to redesign this bit. Run, uh, run a rail round here, and then into this part of the yard and actually have the trains. Put a little, um, a dummy uh, station. You know the station that's just a buffer? Which one is it? Uh, I got it here somewhere, guys. Oh, no, it's freight, you bonehead. Uh, oh, have I, actually, have I got one that's a I don't think I have got one that's, uh, no, I think it's passenger only. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, maybe I haven't got it loaded. But I've got it. I've got it's just buffers. It li literally, it's just a, a track that ends in a ends in a buffer. Um, but I was thinking, like, I could run a track into here and actually have the trains, the stone trains, come in here and load up. Oh my God! How awesome would that be? That'd be freaking staggeringly good. So there we go. So that's the that's the stone quarry. Well, you know what? We'll have a closer look at all this next time because next time I've, I've decided. Well, as soon as I thought of that, like next episode is um, is put the trains put the trains in to ship the stone to the uh, to the construction uh, to the construction materials plant. Oh, and the village. Now, the village down here, when you're down here, close and personal with the village, and we need to have like um, a, a local bus service running through, through here with, with small buses, not the big buses, just like some small buses just running through. Oh, uh, and the other thing I need to do, yeah, come on, man, the next episode is going to be a freaking awesome episode. Um, 
I deliberately avoided putting in. Where are they? Um, these, these, these semi trailers. Um, because we've got the. Where's the stone? I don't know. Oh, this is it. Is this the one? Uh, let's see. I don't know. Uh, yeah, these. These. Because I want to have these actually running around this place. I've decided I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to have a road that's going around here, and we'll have some uh, we'll have some some of these trucks. Where are they? you know what? If I go over here, we can actually see some. If we go over here, e uh, no, that's a bus, you idiot. Where are they? Oh, uh, you know what? I've actually replaced them over here with um, with these. Um, they've, I've got to be running them somewhere, haven't I? Well. Um, what about, what about over here? We've got them carrying slag. Yeah, 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 we have these. But obviously they'll be carrying stone rather than slag. But, um, but have some of those running around hauling stone. That would be seriously awesome. So I've got so many freaking ideas for the next episode. You are not going to want to miss that. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Next episode, we'll, we'll get up close and personal. We'll put all that stuff in. I will catch you for that. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.